Hi, my name is Beth Massey and welcome to the Windows Forms over Data video series. In this video, we're going to create a data entry form with a search capability. It's good practice never to bring down all of the data inside our database table. So instead, we're going to define a new parameterized query against our database. This video builds upon the database that we created in the first video and the application that we've already started called the Order Manager, and I have that open here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new form. So I'm going to right click on the project, select Add, New Item, and I'm going to select Windows Form, and we'll just name it Form 3. Next, we're going to connect to our data. So I'm going to select from the Data menu, Show Data Sources. Now you'll notice that we have a couple data sets in here defined already, which we created in the previous videos. So I'm going to add a new data source by clicking the Add New Data Source button, and I'm going to select Database as our data source type. If you've been following along, this should look familiar. I'm going to select the current connection string, and we're going to create a search form of our customers. So I'm going to select the Customer table, and we'll name it Customer Search Data Set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the customer grid here onto the form. And this will set up our binding navigator that lets us scroll through our records and update them. And let's just fix this. We'll dock this in the parent container for right now. And what I want to do is I want to test this first. So before we can test this, we need to just switch the startup form by double clicking on my project and selecting start form form 3 and then we can go ahead and hit F5. And you'll notice that this pulls down all the rows in our customer table. So we can go ahead and test an update real quick. And great, looks like it's updated. So this brought down all the rows of the customer table. In a real-world application, this isn't a very good idea because data grows over time, especially with multi-user applications. We want to be as efficient as possible, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a parameterized query. So we're going to allow the user to type in a last name, and then we're going to search for just the matches for that last name. So the first thing we do is we select this data grid view, and we select Add Query. This will open up the Search Criteria Builder. So the first thing we're going to specify is the query name. And we're going to call this fill by last name. Now we could just add a WHERE clause here into our query text, or we can use the Query Builder, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to specify a filter in here. So what this is saying is I'm trying to select just the customers where the last name starts with what we're going to pass as the parameter. So let's give this a try. We can execute the query right here from the Query Builder. And I'm just going to say like M. So we're going to select just the customers here where the last name starts with M. Looks like I have three rows. OK. So now we're going to click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to add some controls to our tool strip. It's going to add a last name text box and this button, which will let us execute against the database the query we just wrote. So before I run this, I'm just going to go into the code, and I'm going to comment out the line that was added for us for when we load up the form. It pulls down all of the rows. Instead of doing that, we want to use our search. So we should hit F5 now. And you'll notice we've got no rows yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say like M and hit fill. And you'll notice rep brought back the three rows. And then we can just edit them right from here. Great. So all this did was it just added another 
query to our customer table adapter. If we just pop open this data set, we can see down here our new query filled by last name. So that's how you create a search form. So we want to be able to limit the amount of data that comes down from our database, especially with multi-user applications. It's always good practice to do this. So I'd like to thank you for your time. If you'd like to check out the Visual Basic Developer Center, we'll be posting updates to these videos there. Please also check out the Visual Basic team blog and my blog for more information. Thanks again.